Hey guys, I'm Aaron Edgar, and today I'd like to show you a really simple metric modulation pattern. Now, I know what you're thinking, metric modulation sounds scary, you wanna click away, but don't. Honestly, it's super easy, we're gonna get there in literally only three steps. Now metric modulation, in a nutshell, it's gonna sound like we're either speeding up or slowing down while staying rooted in our original tempo. So it's, it's really just an illusion. But again, I can't stress enough how easy it is. So three steps, let's give it a try. All right, so step one, uh, we're gonna start with just two voices. We're gonna start with your left foot on the hi-hat playing just quarter notes. So we're just gonna stay with the pulse and our right hand is gonna play our change in subdivision. We're just gonna go from straight up eighth notes to eighth note triplets. So first up, our left foot. It's just super easy, just one, two, three, four. Nothing to it, right? Okay, so now here's where it gets a little tricky. We're gonna go from having two notes for every one of those with our right hand to three notes for every one of these with our right hand. I'll go back and forth uh, just within a bar, nice and slow for you. All right, so once you have that internalized, and you have to make sure that you have that really internalized because we're gonna play some stuff over it that might seem a little bit weird, then it's time for step two. For step two, we're gonna add the bass drum. Now the bass drum is going to play every second note that the right hand plays, regardless of the subdivision. So when we're playing with the eighth notes and we're counting one and two and three and four and, it's gonna line up on all the numbers. So one and two and three and four and. Then, when we get to the triplets, and we're counting one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, it's going to be every second note, starting on beat one. So one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. I know, it sounds a little weird. Just listen to it. Let's check it out. All right, so for the third and final step, we're gonna add the snare drum. Now the snare drum is gonna play on every second bass drum. So essentially we're taking a four on the floor pattern and we're making it sound like we're speeding it up. So the snare drum is gonna line up on, well, beats two and four when we're doing the eighth note. So just one and two and three and four and. But then when we get to the triplets, it's a little bit more strange. It's gonna sound like this. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. So pay attention to where your bass drum goes. It just lands up with every second one of them. All right, so that's all three steps for putting together this metric modulation pattern. Now, make sure you print out the free PDF that comes along with this. That way you can take it to your drum set and you can really follow along and practice and make sure everything's lining up. Another essentially mandatory thing with this is that you do these with a metronome. 
Uh, without a metronome, you'll never be 100% sure if you're speeding up or slowing down exactly where it needs to be. And I mean, if it doesn't line up exactly the way it's supposed to be, it's just going to fall apart when you try and use it in any sort of application. All right, so thanks for watching. You're going to see a lot more free videos from me coming up real soon. So make sure you subscribe and like us on Facebook. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.